Hello and welcome to Zanata Consulting's Beginner Series. Uh, this is our continuing series on Zoho Sign. And uh, today we're going to talk about one of the more powerful things you can do in Zoho Sign, and those are called sign tags. And uh, to get started here, I'm Brett Martin. And I'm Tyler Colt. All right, let's get right into it here. So if you do a search for Zoho sign tags, three separate words, you will come to this page. Uh, and it's, very, it's the first thing that comes up on any Google search. Uh, really easy to, to find. And if you do so, you will see that you have these sign tags here. And what these are is these are basically things you can insert into a document that will go ahead and put these various things into that document automatically. So what does that mean? Let's talk about it kind of in a real world scenario. And so oftentimes the way that these get used are in your mail merge templates inside of Zoho CRM. These kind of allow you to create your templates in CRM for delivery that way, but also provide the proper fields for digital signature through Zoho Sign. Um, so if we go ahead and jump over to the CRM, we can show how that works. Yeah, so you're basically going to go to the CRM, you're going to go to settings, you're going to go to templates, and you're going to click on the mail merge. And uh, I've actually pre-done one here, it's contract. And if we go ahead and we look at this contract, this has got all the basics. So it's basically going to put in the contacts name and it's going to put in the account name when this contract is done. But if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see we have these sign fields here. So you've got signature for recipient two and then the signature for the main recipient who's going to be signing it. You've got the date it was signed for recipient two. In this case, it's me. And then the sign date. And if we look at these, there's all sorts of things you can put in here. You can have text fields. You can have titles. You can have an initial field, uh, check boxes. Basically, if it's a field that's in Zoho Sign, you can create one of these sign tags to go ahead and automate this signature. So what does that really mean to you, I guess, if you're, if you're kind of working in this in, in the real world? Well, let's go ahead and say we were working in a deal. And we'll take a look at this Hilton deal here for 10 hours. And what you're going to do is go over here and click on mail merge. And what this is going to do is going to give you a choice to say, well, what, what document do you want to mail merge it with? And in this case, we've only got the one. It's the contract that we just showed you. And then we're going to go ahead and hit merge. And so the first thing that's going to pop up is the document um, that will look basically like your templates. This is before the merge has actually been run. Uh, but over here on the left hand side of the page, we can actually choose to go ahead and run that merge and that will fill in all of the data from our deal record or from the related contact and account into all of the kind of standard merge fields that we have. Um, so we can go ahead and do that now. And then once you have gone ahead and click that button, you'll basically see here's your document. It has the person's name. It has the company name. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you'll see the sign tags are right here. Now, one of the great things about Zoho Writer, if you haven't used it, is it really gives you, there's a lot of powerful tools inside. It, and one of them is just the distribute button. So Zoho Sign is basically avail available to you right here in, in once you hit the distribute. Matter of fact, not just Zoho Sign, but Adobe Sign and DocuSign and EasySign. All of these sign services are available. But since we're talking about Zoho Sign today, we'll go ahead and we'll click here. And this is going to go ahead and automatically upload the document to Zoho Sign and prepare it for signature. Once it's done prepare uploading, you'll go ahead and click next and it's gonna take you into Zoho Sign. And then once you get here, you're actually gonna to have to put the email address of the person who you're going to be sending this to. This will not auto-populate from the record. So, you know, fairly simple. So if you, you can go back to the CRM and grab it. If you've sent them multiple documents, this will auto-populate. Um, so you can go ahead and put this in. And if it had, if it was one of those, by the way, a dot name, it'll auto populate. It takes its best guess when uh, looking at this document. So we'll go ahead and we'll put the person's name in. They are a need to sign. You will want to add yourself because this was a document where you you were actually resigning as well. So now you've got the uh, both people in. If you've watched our previous uh, tutorials on Zoho Sign, you'll know that you can also add other people here that have the ability, they can receive a copy, they can be an in-person signer, or they can be an approver. Relatively straightforward.
You also have one choice of sending an order, which means if you do this, then you will not be able to sign until Mary signs and you can have the entire process go in order. So you can move this and you can drag these people around, determine who gets to sign an order, who gets to sign first, who gets to sign second. Is there an approval process that goes first? Does it go to review? All of these kind of things. So very powerful one kind of helping you set that up. And then down at the very bottom of the page, you can, of course, add a little note to the recipient as you go to send this out. Um, one little oddity to keep in mind is you don't actually need to add empty lines between each of these little um, you know, sentences or phrases. It's going to do that for you. So just don't double space anything in there and it'll look just fine when it gets sent out. And then once we go ahead and continue, then it'll give us a chance to see the document. One thing to note is that um, at this point, you can no longer edit the content of the doc. So you have to make any of those edits within the mail merge before it comes across because it's going to get converted to a PDF to be sent out for signature. Really, the key things to look at would be, you know, all the way down at the bottom there where we do have our signatures, though they previously looked like those little chunks of text over in mail merge. Once Zoho sign grabs them, it turns them into the fillable fields. Yes. And this just uh, saves you the trouble of having to drag over, you know, clicking on Mary and taking the signature field and dragging it over and clicking on the sign date. And, uh, you know, and because you've done a merge, it's already put the names in, it's put the company names in, everything's done. So uh, really, really simple, really straightforward. Sign tags are powerful. Uh, again, I uh, recommend you kind of take a look at these, this, this document here. Uh, Go ahead and add these into your documents. Go ahead and start setting up your automation inside of Zoho CRM using the mail merge functionality. It'll save you a lot of time and also uh, really make things consistent and have a nice easy flow. Thank you so much for watching our videos and tuning into our channel. We hope you found this useful. And if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so that you get notified anytime we put out any new videos. Thanks again for watching.